Hi there, my name's Sam, and we're jumping back in here into Strange View. I guess I'll hit I'll hit play here. Um, it's time for Lilith to go to work. Her energy is okay. She's still sick with food poisoning. Um, I'd like to ramble for a minute about a couple things. Um, I wanted to thank everyone for their response to my poll. I think it was yesterday or the day before at the time that I'm filming this. I'm not going to talk too much about what I think I'm going to end up doing right now. We'll talk about it when we get to the university, which is going to be um, next episode, actually. So we'll talk about it then. But for right now, I did want to mention that I, I have been doing some some tweaking with my game. If you follow me on Twitter, I guess we'll let Daniel do his little morning routine here while I'm talking. Come here, go to the bathroom. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, I mentioned that I was I was doing some testing and some, I'm, I think I may have fixed my pink flashing issues, which I'm very happy about. I'll have to see um, as we go along here. I, 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 think, I think ultimately it's one of those things where it's kind of a, a each situation is different. The, the ga this old game seems to play differently on other on, on all kinds of different systems and stuff. Oh, is that his carpool? I'm gonna go to work, bud. So in the past, I have experimented with the um, story progression mod, and one thing that the story progression mod comes with is um, it includes a time sync mod and also a mod that lets you visit other. Can you stop honking, ma'am? I'm trying to talk. Just take Daniel to work. He's already in there. They, it comes with also a um, this ability to visit other Sims houses and stuff, which I think is cool. And so I actually chose to reinstall it, but I have done it in a um, a way that I've tried to limit its effects. I've taken out certain modules that control certain things, and I've made it so that it the actual story progression side of things is very slow and very limited so it shouldn't do too much to the game. I don't mind an occasional little curveball of a fun little thing that it comes up with but I think I've been able to tweak it so that it's not too intense because I think before I had it at, it's just its default settings and it was kind of a lot. I wanted to experiment with the time sync be using that instead of the community time mod which only wants to work half the time anyway. Um, what time sync will do is that like if I were to take Angela to a lot right now and we were say we were at the lot until 1 p.m. and then I brought her home, it would zoom the time forward on this lot to automatically be at 1 p.m., which technically means we would lose any time, say if Daniel were here, we would lose that time playing with that sim. But it's not something that I really care that much about, I don't think, at this point. It's just something, if I do care, I'll be mindful of who's going where and what we're doing. Um, I just wanted to see how it felt, if it made the game feel any more, like, streamlined and, and just kind of more... Um, current, I guess. And one thing I did notice is that it had messed up our season and I had to re refix it, put it back to season four. She's just vomiting constantly. Poor Lilith. Um, why don't you go to bed, Lilith, I guess. I don't know what to do with you. Also, why are these beds like this weird wood color? I don't remember this. That was, that's weird. It was like a weird default color because it's supposed to be, that's supposed to be black. Yeah, that's supposed to be black. Okay. Anyway, um, I guess I'm done rambling. I'm just gonna have the. I'm just gonna play him for a few days, and I know, I don't remember exactly how many days we were in last time, but I know we only had like two or three days left anyway. So we'll just we'll just see how it goes. We'll just keep playing him for a few days. Um, I would like to get Angela. I mean, not Angela, Lilith. I probably already said Angela like over and over in this game already. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, I'd like to get um, Lilith so a, a special somebody. I have to see who. Who it could be. Oh, little, oh, little healthy again. Okay. Because we spent a lot of time with Daniel and his, his lovers last time, so I'd like for... Wow, Daniel just got 2,000 bucks for his day of work. That's pretty wild. He's got a lot of skills he needs, though. Maybe that's something he can be doing in the background while we're focusing on Lilith. Let's see. I would like to... I'm going to have Lilith eat, and then maybe we'll go off on an adventure. We'll leave old Daniel here. Okay, girly, let's see. Let's... Walked a lot. Um, we're just gonna go to a community lot. We're not gonna bring our father. Um, should I go? I think I'm gonna stay in town. I don't know where we're gonna go. Let's go to this to the little public pool place. We'll just hang out and see who's there. Maybe we'll jump around to a couple lots. 
Okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so there's a... Oh, oh, it disappeared a little bit. Depends on the angle you're at. There's a, there's a hood deco tree in our parking lot here. Uh, we're going to ignore that for right now. When we zoom in, it kind of goes away. No, it doesn't. I lied. Okay, we're going to pretend that's not there. Apparently Lilith is swimming in the rain. We're going to take a minute here to establish ourselves. Who is this? May Pleasant. I don't think we should maybe... I don't, maybe we shouldn't try to ask out somebody with the same last name as us. That seems like it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> we don't know what's going on there. Why is it so dark in this room? I don't know why it's so dark in this room. That's all right. I'm going to have her go here and talk to a couple people. We're getting along here. Network? Uh-oh, she's networking with us. What is this? What are you networking with us, Brittany? I've heard you're working in a slacker career. Small world. You know a few friends that work there. You deserve higher wages. Oh, dang. Okay, that's cool. Here, I think I'm going to do... Can I do the... the scope room only... Literally only this room, or is it the whole lot? Nobody? Like, if I go... Let me go down here. I already forgot. I think I've looked already, but what are... We already looked at her turn-ons, yeah. Kind of generic. God, it's really loud in this... There's, like, so many different... I put way too many music things here. <laughs> like, way too many. I guess we'll talk to May. Oh my god. Oh, it's Crystal Curious here with her big pregnant belly. Oh, Crystal. Sandy Fair. Oh, wait, we got. Wait, we have, we have a bolt of chemistry with Sandy Fairchild. Not just holding her hostage behind the, the workout machines. We have, we have chemistry. We have chemistry. Is it because she's a good cook? It doesn't show us a bolt on her thingy, but... Wait, is she a teen? Wait, no, she's not... Is she... It wouldn't show us chemistry if she was a teen, right? I was just questioning her height, which I don't think she is. Um, Let's ask, do you like what you see? <gasps> she's into it! Wait, she likes, she likes black-haired sims. I'm gonna go out here where the lighting's nicer. Let's go here. I'm gonna call over. I just want her to come out here where it's nicer. <laughs> it's not aesthetically pleasing in this room because I put bad lighting. I need to come and fix it. But for now, we're just gonna find a good spot. Stop looking at me, Lilith. Don't go play in the puddle. This chick came to talk to you. Wait, flirt? Charm? Can we get away with a charm? <gasps> oh my gosh, we got away with a charm. Not this Miss Crumblebottom's waiting. No, Miss Crumblebottom, leave us alone. Go away. You're not supposed to be here. Oh, smells bad. Oh, I think she's leaving. Her needs are bad. Well, at least we have we have a possibility. I think we'll continue to another lot. Let's go somewhere else for right now, ma'am. Okay, we're gonna walk to a random little cafe downtown and just go hang out. Some random lot downtown. There we are. Ooh, look at this fancy lighting. Fancy, fancy lighting. Ooh, this looks like a fun place to be. We can find some Sims here. Who are you? I think you look like you're a college kid. This man is walking in the grounds. This man is in the ground, or is he just missing legs? I think he's just missing legs. I can't see through the wall. Who dis? Callion, Callion, you got a, you got, you got a situation going on, buddy. He just, he's ascending <laughs> with, with his knees. <laughs> he's walking on his knees. What's with all these boys showing up? We, Lilith doesn't want boys. Who's this? Be friends with Jill? I don't know who Jill is. Is Jill here? Mary Sue Pleasant? Not her mom showing up. This is the most uncool lot ever. Just a bunch of dudes and our mom. Laszlo Curious here. Uh-oh, we have a traffic jam. It appears the the knee walker and AJ are having a moment on the stairs. Oh, okay. They figured it out. They figured it out. Who are you? Maximilian. Don't want you. We need a lady. Who are you? Poppy. That's a cute name. Is Poppy a teenager? Poppy looks like a teenager, though. We don't want a teenager. Let me see. I can't tell. Who, who's this man? What is going on on this lot on this night? Mary Sue, you're blocking everybody. All right. Well, this is not the most fun adventure. I think we are going to go for a walk to back home. I like this lot a lot, but it's kind of just a, a, a sausage fest. 
<laughs> just a bunch of dudes and our mom. And then this one team. I think I'd rather... Oh, she has the night off. Okay. Well, maybe tomorrow we'll call up the girl we met. She also wants to be friends with this random Jill chick. We could check... Oh, J the Jill is the chick we went on a date with. She wants to be friends with her. All right. We have arrived back home. And the time is... The time is synced, so it's, it's 3 a.m. now here. She's gonna go use the bathroom. Her needs are rough. This room is rough. Daniel... I don't know what to do with you. Oh, and the shower's broken too. This is going good. I feel like Lilith just wants to get out of here as soon as she can. Like she doesn't want to have to live here with her father. I feel like Daniel's probably going to take over this this condo eventually. All right, why don't you wake up, Daniel? We are morning time now. Daniel does have to work today, unfortunately. I was going to have him possibly call up his his girly here, his friend Charlotte with the good makeup, Charlotte with the good looks. Actually, doesn't he need mechanical? He does. You know what, buddy? Here, come repair this. Maybe you'll get a mechanical skill point. That'd be good. Did you fix it? Nice. Did you get a skill point? No. <laughs> well, at least you fixed it. We need to clean up some of these newspapers, dude. Yeah, the, the seat's stuck up on this thing. Wait, if he uses it, does the seat go... Oh, okay. Never mind. It fixed. Gotta get in your fancy little red car, buddy. You almost fully... Oh, you're fully rested. Come here and answer the... New, the um, I almost just said answer the newspaper. <laughs> answer the phone. Is Daniel available? Uh, no. Of course not. He's working. Excuse me. I'm wandering out with no pants on. Just grab the mail real quick. With your bare feeties in the road. Oh, what is this? The City Chamber of Commerce would like to show your appreciation for your patronage by offering you this coupon for a good... Good for a free meal. Interesting. So it's like a coupon. Who's this? She's cute. Who's this? Come talk to this this random. This is like an apartment life townie. Come talk to Kaylin Spitzig. She's cute. Gosh, Lilith. You seem to... She seems to have a hard time getting along with people. It's like there's a lot of people she just doesn't resonate with. Oh! What are we doing? Why are we doing this? Why are we arguing? Girlies, why are we fighting? Oh my gosh. Lilith, you need to go inside and put on some pants. Just stop it. Okay. You need to... Okay, the silent yelling isn't helping. Then another one. Okay. Wait, she just came in our house. Why are you in our house? Go away. Who are... Get out of here. You just yelled at us on the street corner. Why, why are you thinking you're allowed to be in here? Ma'am? Please leave. Okay. Well, I guess it's time for some lunch. That seems like seems like we've earned ourselves a lunch, I'd say. Who's here? Dirk Dreamer's here. Hello, Dirk. That's our, our ex boyfriend. Now he's our BFF. How you doing, Dirk? Oh, and he's also marrying our mom. <laughs> Forgot about that important detail. <laughs> he's our mom's fiance. <laughs> The, the the tangled web. <laughs> hey, bud, how's it going? You haven't... So, okay, so that means that her ex-boyfriend is soon gonna be, like, her stepfather and possibly the father to, like, a... What is going on? Looks like we have some career things, which I thought I had removed, but I guess that's happening. Um, some sims are getting careers. That's okay. Looks like Laszlo was promoted in his career. That's fine. So it's gonna be, yeah, she's, Dirk will be her stepfather and, and like, possibly the father to a half-sibling of hers, it, but he was her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> this is broken. This is all messed up. She really wants to woohoo with somebody. I guess we'll, maybe we'll try calling up that other chick. Who's this one? Sandy Fairchild. Sandy's answering machine. Okay. Let's call up. Oh, she doesn't want to be friends with that other sim anymore, but we could try her again. Who else did we talk to? We talked to that's the, this is the chick we yelled at. Let's let's call up Arizona. Oh, never mind. I guess we're not calling up Arizona. All right. Well, let's have a chat with Dirk. Whoa, what's that sound? Oh, Daniel has arrived. Another two grand for Daniel. We're piling it on here. Daniel, why don't you come and, um... Also, this is awkward because 
Oh, Dirk is marrying well? Daniel's ex-wife, so we're we're gonna get talk about this. We're just gonna not. I think maybe maybe it's better if we stay outside, Dirk, just in case, because Daniel's can be a little temperamental. We've learned that a few times. What is Daniel's perception of Dirk? Oh, they're still like best friends and stuff. Maybe he's okay. I don't know. Maybe he's accepted what's going on. Okay, you got your mechanical buddy. I'm gonna have Daniel just grind to some points here, some skill points. Um, practice your speech. These two are enjoying themselves out on the lawn. I just don't know what Lilith, I don't know what to do with Ms. Lilith. She's just having a hard time with the Dayton, Dayton world. Maybe we'll try calling up that sim again for the heck of it. There we go, we got, we got a hold of the chick we were talking to at the other place. Can my friend come? Sure, why not? We'll make it a party. Make it a crowd. Who is this old lady that you've brought? Sarah McCarthy? That's your friend? You brought an old lady? Oh, we had we had a little cheek kiss. Oh, we have another cheek kiss. Okay. Interesting. I'm wondering if left to their own devices if something will happen. What are we doing? Relax? Oh! Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Something's happening. It seems that there is a spark here. It seems that there is a natural ACR spark happening. Okay. That she's in her underwear, but it looked like she had nothing on for a second there because of the lighting. All right. These these two are are enjoying themselves. Lilith has finally found the somebody. Oh. Okay, I didn't know I was going to that scene. Okay. <laughs> well, there we are. I guess, I guess. Miss Lilith finally achieved her one want. Yeah, I think this is a good place to save. Thanks, game. That was the definite thing I wanted to try and accomplish before we were done playing them for this round, which is a little bit longer to go. I'm going to just continue playing for the usual hour that I play for an episode, since I don't know exactly how many days we, we had left last time. So... We'll play for a little bit longer, but I'm glad we accomplished that. What else does she want? Then she wants to be friends with Kaylin, even though they argued. But she wants to be best friends with the Sandy chick, so let's do that. Let's just do a little chatting, a little appreciation. A little back rub. I guess we probably can kiss, huh? I figure we, uh, we, we went a little past kissing, so it's fine. Daniel was too busy talking to him. Look at Dan look at how Daniel's new earring sparkles in the bathroom lighting. <laughs> Looking good, Daniel. <laughs> Aw, a kiss. Oh, we have a crush moment. She's got a crush. Let's do a romantic huggy. Oh my gosh. This is going good. Dirk, may I help you, sir? Ooh, there's a grilled cheese rotten out here. I didn't know there was a rotten grilled cheese hanging out out there. It's funny, though. She seems, like, very kind of proper and put together and very much not... Very much not the punk that is Lilith. So it's kind of a fun little opposites attract moment, kind of. Can we hold hands? Don't interrupt your father. He's learning to talk. <laughs> Leave him alone. She wanted to take a shower in there. Here, how about you go downstairs and make let's serve a dinner for everybody here. Let's serve some spaghetti. Daniel's not doing great. I think his needs are getting rough. Here, we'll give you a break, Daniel. You got a skill point. There we go. We'll call it good at that skill point. He got one more. He needs three more to max out. Then he can get to the top of his career. Are you going to take a shower, buddy? Oh. Make some, make some yummy spaghetti. Oh, Dirk's thinking about how he hates Daniel. <laughs> Awkward. Somebody want to eat? Oh, she's eating. Okay, well, this isn't, wasn't exactly what I had to plan because now Lilith is going to eat upstairs. <laughs> I was hoping they'd eat together. Also, we have a, a stinking plate on the ground. This is this is not ideal. <laughs> oh, that outing yesterday was great. This is Charlotte. Charlotte, the uh, beautiful makeup. Uh, she's a she's a makeup guru. She has a YouTube channel. If you if you recall, that's her. Um, she's leaving us a television, apparently. <laughs> That's a scary shot. <laughs> You're gonna get arrested walking around like that, girly. She left us a television, which is arguably like a worse television than we already have, which we actually already have two televisions. Um, thanks, Charlotte. 
gonna just do that. A little extra 500 bucks in our pocket. Thanks to, we brought, brought the TV down to the pawn shop. Can y'all stop just like get gawking at the television? Come, come watch down here. How about we, how about we say goodbye to Dirk for right now? <laughs> One of Daniel's wants is to have a good reputation. I think that might have come and gone, Daniel. I, th I think that opportunity may have come and gone. Not everybody crowding. <laughs> don't don't make Dirk sp look at this <laughs> the little the little cut little uh that was oh this little convoy going down the stairs there. What did he just do? What was that interaction that just happened? Daniel, can you are you hungry, Daniel? Kinda. Eat something. Yeah, eat one of those, and I'm gonna have you do some cleaning, friend. Oh, okay. I guess Sandy's gonna leave. Okay. Well, thanks for the woohoo, Sandy. We really appreciate that. We've been working hard on that one. Oh, it's 3 a.m. Buddy, I think you should probably just go to sleep. I think that'd be best. And, uh, Lilith, you gotta go off to work. She's kind of tired, but that's all right. Oh, Daniel has the day off today. I was just noticing he becomes an elder in 11 days. So he's still got a little while, but he's getting up there. He's, he's getting close. I wonder what... Is, is Elder Daniel gonna be, like, Herb? Is that what we're gonna... I think that's... Is that what we're looking at? Maybe a slightly less likable Herb. Maybe that's what it'll be. Oop, the phone is ringing. So we answer the phone. Is Lilith available? Um, no. What's with people calling people as they leave? Like, come on. I don't know what we want to do. Maybe we'll invite... Who should we invite over? That... Looks like he knows this... He's best friends with this Hilda chick. He wants to go on a date in Woohoo. We need another sim to Woohoo. Maybe that's how we'll end off this episode, is achieving one more Woohoo under Daniel's belt. Because I think he's at four. We got Charlotte. We had Nina. Kaylin. And then we got Mary Sue. Yeah, so we're at four sims. We need just one more to accomplish this, and I assume probably also this. So that'd be good if we could get... I wonder if this Hilda chick... Let's try to call Hilda over. She looks like we've got chemistry and we're already best friends. Would you like to come over, Hilda? Nice. I have no clue who this chick is, but she's coming on over. Oh. Uh-oh, Lilith has arrived. She's got to deal with her father's... Oh! She's been promoted to gas station attendant. Oh, that's right. We also wanted to keep an eye on the newspaper for a possible uh, paranormal career job because she has a lifetime wish of being a cult leader. You know, a completely healthy and, and well-adjusted want for a young woman to have. Let's... Can... Daniel? I don't know why I was trying to click on the paper that Daniel was obviously using. <laughs> Oop, somebody's here. Daniel, your your friend is here. I think that's a that's a that's uh, that is a hundred percent a uh dormy, like a like a sim from the uh college hood. I don't know how I feel about that, Daniel. Let's look at find a job, girly. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is not this is Daniel. Daniel's really Okay, well, not the ladies going wild for Daniel. Yeah, they're jumping right into the natural ACR stuff. So I wonder if we can we can we kiss? Can we just be like boom right out of the gate? Yeah, we can. Let's just go right at it. We need we need a woohoo and a kiss. I think we're gonna be able to achieve it. Oh, oh, we're looking at jobs here. One sec. This is awkward. Awkward. Dance career. Daniel, you're failing. The earring is not strong enough. Oh, the artist career. Okay, there's no paranormal career. I hope this doesn't go badly. Okay. Let me see. I'll let them do their thing for a second, maybe. Oh, are they... Okay. The second that I said, I'm going to let them do their thing, they immediately headed to the hot tub. So I think we're going to possibly achieve this one. I wonder if we'll also achieve the makeout one, because sometimes the ACR... Interaction does some making out also, so maybe we might we might get two birds one stone here. Are we gonna do a make out? Yeah, I think this is okay. We are making out. I don't know why I'm getting like up close and personal. This is not necessary. Okay, let's uh, let's see if this is gonna accomplish our make out. Yeah, we got our five sims make out. 
Sweet deal. Oh my gosh, Daniel. Make out with 10 sims? Oh boy. Why are we getting a cutscene? This is definitely not- maybe this is her first time? That's why we're getting a cutscene? I've been having the, the, the duplicate woohoo music glitch recently. <laughs> but anyway, we accomplished- we're gonna lock in 10 and 10. Oh boy. Oh boy, Daniel. Alright, well, I think with that I'm gonna end this episode here. I've been playing for about the amount of time that I would normally have played. So we'll say that we, we took care of our, our season properly between what we played last time and this time, even though it got all messed up. So we're gonna set season. I'm gonna use, I have this little cheat that lets us um, set the season. We're gonna transfer it over to season one. So when we, they've progressed. So next time we'll be playing them as season one. Um, this was a really fun little household, a little bit different. I haven't ever played these guys living together like this before. Um, Daniel's always a lot of fun. I enjoy the romance sims. I enjoy the drama. They're quite fun. And then of course Miss Lilith. I'm glad that we finally last minute got her a somebody. We'll see where that goes. Although she is a popularity sim so I don't know that she's really gonna roll like want to get married and stuff too quickly. She already, she already wants to meet someone new and just be like friends with everybody so I don't know. But that's it for now. And uh, next time we're going to be jumping into the university kids. We're going to be visiting, there. I think there's four kids. There's Alexander Goth, Lucy Burb, Jill Smith, and Buck Grunt are our four university kids. So it's kind of a nice little group. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.